Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, 1999 Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI County Station Wagon that's on a galvanised chassis that you can see behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of an engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 1999 on an S Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI factory county station wagon. Now this is one of the very last um, 300 TDIs registered, being a 99 one. Um, still in its original paint. Now it's a rare color, this blue. Um, and I have to say the paint is original and it was obviously painted in 1999 when Land Rover hadn't quite mastered the art of making metallic paint stick to defenders. So there's a lot of paint loss and electrolytic reaction and stuff on it, but as I say, Paintwork wise, it is original, so there's no horrors hiding underneath the paint. Um, 2021, it was fitted with a full Richards galvanized chassis by uh, Tim Fry Land Rovers in Cheltenham. Um, you can't just fit the chassis, you have to do all sorts of other stuff as well, like change springs and things, and uh, um, mounting poly bush and stuff like that. That's all been done. Um, huge bill for it, and it's you know, it's now ready to roll. Um, Spec wise, standard county station wagon spec, so tinted glass, sunroof, six seats, except this one's also got um, KVX grill and light surrounds on it. It's got the original um, optional chrome A bar. It's got checker plate on the wing tops, the modesty covers, and the rear quarters, which probably look as if they've been there from new. Um, it's got the correct freestyle alloys with a matching set of virtually new Cooper Discoverer um, RTs on it. XS style side steps. Hard spare wheel cover. And that's it externally and internally we've got um, full soundproofing kit. We've got these Defender um, what are they called? The seat box trims on it. Uh, very large chubby box, um, which has also got a USB port, which presumably links to the uh, the Pioneer system, which is a DAB stereo and Apple CarPlay and stuff. Um, it's also got, instead of the, the low back four seats in the back, it's got high back Exmoor trim ones that fold, uh, all with seat belts. So nice spec on it, really, from that point of view. Um, right, I'm not going to go around and pick out every blemish on the paint. Suffice to say, the paint is original. It's, what, uh, 20, 23 years old. So there are lots of imperfections on the paint. Basically, if you want one that's just rolled out, looks like it's just rolled out the factory, this one isn't for you. But as I say, it's honest. Um, got quite a bit of, you've got some electrolytic reaction down there. Not so much on the bonnet, a few marks on the front of the bonnet and a bit of electrolytic reaction bubbling just there. Um, looking down the near side, it's very straight and dent free. In fact, I'm going to shut up and not say a lot about the paint because you can see it all here. This is just where the paint's flaked off because of the reaction. Underneath here, there's the front of your Richard's galvanized chassis. Galvanized, galvanized turret top, new front springs. Screen blocks have lost all their paint. It's also got a heated front screen on this one. And the roof, well, lost a lot of its lacquer, they always do. As I say, Land Rover couldn't, uh, just couldn't paint these to save their lives. Um, Near side door, got the action down the bottom there. Let's see what the door frame is like. Actually, door frame feels pretty good. Seats, I think the front seats are the original. They're a little bit stained um, and marked, but they haven't actually lost their shape. Chubby box is obviously new. Dash carpets and what have you all look good. Headlining's not too bad. Doesn't seem to be leaking around the sunroof. Be a bonus if it isn't. Um, near side rear wing. Well, you can see with your own eyes on the video. So nice and straight, but a lot of paint loss. 
But this is what defenders do, especially ones that are painted in metallic from the factory at this sort of age. Back of the galvanised chassis. These bits, incidentally, are steel, which is why they've uh, they've lost some of their paint and they're corroding slightly. But it is just surface rust. Uh, original tailgate that's lost quite a lot of its paint. We don't need to talk about the, uh, the cross member because it's, it's a new galvanised chassis on there. And again, the original tailgate is actually fine on the bottom uh, bottom frame. Inside the back here, these four seats all look really new, and it's all been rubberized on the floor in here. Got seat belts for all of them. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all good from that point of view. Carrying on round, more paint loss. Looks again, very straight down the offside. I don't think this one's ever been sort of off-roaded or anything. Just normally you get head scratches and stuff. There's none of that, just a, a lot of electrolytic reaction and paint loss. I think they call it Katina. Ah, oh, this rubber strip up here probably has seen better days. Just come away a little bit there. Um, all good round there. Got the paint loss. Driver's door. A post. Green block, offside front wing, a couple of minor scuffs just here on the eyebrow. And then again underneath here, new shot, galvanised shock turrets and stuff. And then in here, so again just check the driver's door frame. Again, feels very good indeed. I think they've been restored, they just feel fine. Uh, steering wheel showing a little bit of wear as you'd expect given it's just about to turn over 170,000 miles. Driver's seat, a bit thin here and there's a bit of a stain just there. Another one there. Someone's been eating chocolate in it. Um, and a little bit of a little crack in the vinyl just there. Uh, yeah, there we have it really. It's, um, as I say, they've done a, done a good job restoring it and I kind of agree with the uh, um, with leaving the paint as it is myself but each to their own anyway my name's Simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information right quick video of start up and idling on this uh, 300 TDI lights come up as they should Starts nicely, it's nice and warm at the moment. So it starts properly. Now we'll show you a bit under bonnet. There's this under bonnet view. You can see the bonnet has been fully uh, soundproof. Nice clean engine light, and I think it's had a new server head. Doing what it should, it's not smoking, just forming the way it's supposed to. Here we go. 